My name is Aiden Carney. I'm a social justice leader, a civil rights icon, and award-winning journalist. Uh, first, I want to say that I'm glad to see that the internet uh, works today because I was under the assumption that the Google machine broke in this community because out of the 351 towns and cities in the entire state of Massachusetts, only one was as dumb as yours as to invite Monica Cannon Grant, the most notorious racist violent criminal in the entire Commonwealth here. It's so embarrassing that Tom Glavin tells people he's from Tewksbury now. When I spoke to Mark on my award-winning live show, he came on there and he told me that the school committee did not know about Monica Cannon Grant because it was paid for by a grant from a uh, nonprofit called Billerica Partners for Education. However, what he did not mention was that two people on the board, one and two, are both on that organization. They both knew about it. Why didn't you tell me that? I feel like that might be a little bit relevant that the assistant superintendent and one of five elected members of the school committee is on the organization that paid this racist bigot to come here, and that's exactly what she is. I heard a speaker come up a minute ago with a mask on there. I heard her through it. Uh, let me just give you a quote here. Maybe this is uh, a quote that they like. If white vagina and white penises jeopardize your melanin, then we need you to sit in the back of the class. He getting that pink uncooked vagina, but keep your mouth shut on black shit if you ain't ready to be black. In regards to my friend Rayla Campbell, who is in a beautiful interracial, interracial, interracial relationship with her white husband. She's black, she ran for Congress, by the way. To threaten her, Monica said, regardless of how many penis, white penises you ride, I ain't mad at you, sis, because if you ride in that mother trucker for a credit score, get you that house, boo, get you that 40 acres. Just don't forget that use a trigger. Monica said that. We got people up here talking about, oh, she had said nice things. Who cares? She's a violent, racist bigot, and any kid can see that. It's embarrassing. I read about towns like Coleraine, Brockton, and New Bedford, and yours is the most shameful. Seriously, get on the internet, Google these people. It's embarrassing for you guys. Anyway, her speech wasn't about social justice or equity or any of that crap. It was just a, a huge monologue about how she's not guilty. But the feds have a 99% conviction rate. So here's my question. What are the kids gonna think when she's convicted and jailed? What are they gonna think? You're gonna make her lose faith in the justice system that Monica is some sort of martyr for the cause of Jesus Christ. Why? So my final question for you guys is, why haven't you condemned it? I'm asking you right now, every single person on this board, including the one who's not looking at me in the eye, who's on the board, do you condemn Monica Cannon Grant's violent racist rhetoric, yes or no? Anyone? Anyone want to condemn bigotry and racism and threats? Giving you a chance to condemn it. There's no, no place for racism anywhere. Okay, good. Thank you for condemning it. First, do you guys condemn it? You're on the board, right? Sherry, no? Jill, do you condemn it? You said you wanted equity. Why don't you put the quit in equity and quit your job and hand it over to a person of color who's more qualified than you are? I know it's nice to say equity, but why don't you put your money where your mouth is and quit your job, put the quit in equity right now. So that's all, thank you very much.